My name is Jamar Parker. I'm the class of 1999. I played for Coach Bush for three years. Um, came from varsity my freshman year to the end of my freshman year. Then I uh, came on the varsity team. And, uh, you know, as being um, a freshman playing senior of uh, junior varsity, um, I'm sorry, I'm kind of nervous, but playing varsity, I was just honored to knowing that I had to step up my game, not on the court, but off the court, you know, and being, you know, the person I am, that I had to do, be a better man. So he raised me to be a better man, a young, young man to try to, you know, better myself. So a lot of credit goes to him, you know, being who I am today and being thankful that I had that, that male presence that was in my life. So I could tell you a story that he can, that can make you laugh. I could tell you a story that could make you, make you, you know, make you a better person, but everything he did is, is a part of my character today. Um, him just, you know, it could be a situation where um, I may not doing something he told me to do on the court <laughs> and he'd be like, okay, it's time for him to get off. And I could see his face being red because, you know, a play didn't go the way he wanted to go. <laughs> and so he's telling me, hey, uh, let's go. You got to you gotta go. Um, I remember one time, <laughs> one of his favorite things I like to remember, he said, what the Sam Hill? Or, uh, uh, you know, he, got, he had his own way of saying his own words when he got into the moment where he, because he, he, he made you a competitor. He made you want to be a better, just, uh, just, just, just the intensity, you know what I'm saying? That, that passion, you know what I'm saying? That drive, you know, and, 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 and having all these, you know, other, other basketball players that, you know, that has lead the way for when I came in, it was a banner of championships and accomplishments, you know what I'm saying? And being at the age I was, it made me saying, look what I had to look up to, look what I had to, you know, keep the legacy going. And I, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of the legacy. I'm proud to be knowing that I have someone that I, I know that build me <clears throat> in, in, into who I am today. I'm, I'm, I'm so I'm so honored to know this the, the man I had known most of my life, and and I just I just I just have so much to say, but I'm kind of, but that's just how I, I, I am. You know, you make you pass, you make you go. So all I want to say, I, I'm I, I'm 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 just so thankful that I'm able to talk about these things and share because it, I wanted I wanted to continue. Okay, uh, Michael Walker. Uh, Central High School class of 79. I played on the basketball team uh, for Coach Bush. Played for three years at Central High School with Coach. Uh, Coach Bush was a, was a great man, and he was somebody that I always looked to for advice, mentorship, and he was always there for me. He, he never, ever uh, <laughs> was not available to me. A uh, good man, uh, somebody that's going to definitely be missed. Uh, he was he was one of the elders in the community, and a lot of people look to him uh, for guidance. Coach Bush is uh, definitely going to be missed. He'll he'll go down in Kansas City sports history as one of the greatest coaches. Uh, this is not so much just one story, but kind of uh, the relationship and the history that Coach Bush and I had. Uh, when I first came to Central, um, I was a sophomore, and being young and thinking you uh, are one of the best players, you know, whether you are or you aren't, you know, you still think that you should be playing. And Coach Bush and I bumped heads a lot. And um, it didn't help any that, uh, you know, that I wasn't one particularly to want to go to school all the time. And so um, initially, Coach Bush didn't even have me on the varsity. I was on JV and being young and, and uh, inexperienced, I, I thought JV was, that was it. I mean, I was good with that. I didn't really uh, have an idea of what it was to play varsity. Uh, I knew the history of Central, but still, you know, because I'm being cocky and hard-headed, you know, Coach Bush and I didn't didn't see eye to eye, and really it was because of uh, just because of my immaturity. But Coach Bush stuck with me, 
And um, as the season went on, he gave me an opportunity to play. And I, I played well. And, but he never uh, changed the way he was going to do things. And I grew to appreciate that as I got older and I finished playing for him. Um, Coach, uh, I think he, and I, I watched him do the same thing with other players. Uh, and he generally got the best out of his players. Um, he was, um, one story I will tell you though, the type of person Coach Bush was. My senior year, we had a really good team. And a lot of games we scored, you know, a lot of points. But Coach Bush would never let us just run the score up on teams. And his attitude, we, I asked him about it later, and his attitude was, hey, some of those other coaches, you know, they're friends of mine, and I don't want to embarrass them. And that was, that was, that kind of showed me um, the type of person Coach Bush was, because as I got older and I started to realize the, the relationships that those coaches had, I understood what Coach Bush was trying to get across to us was that you can win and you can win with honor and you don't have to embarrass your opponent to, uh, to be successful. My name is Stephen L. Dunson Jr. I'm a graduate of the 93 class at Central High School. And um, you know, I'm here to talk about a legendary uh, guy that was a good influence on my life. Um, I really enjoy playing for this guy here. And the guy I'm talking about is Coach Jack Bush. I have a lot of fond memories of Coach Bush. Um, he was excellent as a person, as a mentor, and as a coach. You know, he, he was the man. You know, everybody at Central knew him. And I came here in uh, the year of 91. I played two years underneath his uh, curriculum, and uh, I enjoyed every bit of it. I have two fond memories of uh, playing underneath Coach Jack Bush. Uh, the first one is me getting on the team. Now, um, we had tryouts my sophomore year, my first year here. And um, we were playing ball, and when we had tryouts, you play ball with a lot of people you don't know. Everybody's tr trying to show off their individual talents and things of that nature. Um, I didn't make the team. I got cut. Um, the following day, I went home and I spoke to my dad. He knew I was heartbroken because I loved to play ball. And that's all I knew. Um, and to get myself in shape, I had to go out and ran cross country for the school. And I really had a great time, I really enjoyed myself. So in the course of me trying out and not making a team, came home and I was hurt. And uh, when my dad asked me a question, he said, well, uh, what went on? And I told him that I didn't make the team. He was hurt. And so the following day, he called Coach Bush and asked Coach Bush to give me another try. And at this time, it was just me, myself, and uh, didn't know I, who I was going to play against. But I went in and played against the varsity squad of class of 91. And, uh, man, you're talking about a tough team. But I did well. I did very well. And at the, at, at, with the experience that I had before, I made the team. At the end of the day, he bought my two jerseys out to me, 22 and 23, and I smiled. He saw the smile on my face. I was so happy. Uh, like I said, Coach Bush is a fair guy. He was a fair guy, very fair. And uh, I just had a great, great time. And um, also, I got another story to tell. Uh, we was playing against Rockhurst College, which uh, was a Rockhurst High School, which was a, uh, a rivalry of ours. And that night, we supposed to played them on my birthday, but we played in them playing them a week later because of the weather. That night, 
I scored 30 points. And you're talking about, and it was in Rockers. It was not in Central. Nothing to do with our school, but it was in Rockers. And, man, you're talking about uh, they were so mad, so mad. When the game was over, they turned the lights off on us. <laughs> it was it was an experience that I never experienced like before. But, yes, that's just how it happened. Uh, Coach Bush, like I said, I can't say anything negative about that man, but he gave me my opportunity to play high school ball, and I went on to play college ball, and I went on to play semi-pro ball. It was wonderful. My basketball experience at Central High School was the best. My name is Daryl Bush, and I would like to express my tremendous honor and gratification to share with uh, the audience some wonderful experiences that uh, I had with Coach Bush. Uh, I played varsity ball for Coach Bush for three years uh, from 76 through 78. Uh, we were league champions two years, uh, final four in the state two years, and just played with some great folks. Uh, the first time I met Coach Bush uh, was my freshman year. Back then, um, you either had to play football or run cross country. And so I went out for the football team. It was in early August, like 110 degrees. So I said, now this is not going to work for me. So that first week of school, uh, either at Tuesday or Wednesday, Coach Bush saw me in the hallway and stopped me and t said, uh, if, uh, since you're afraid to play uh, football, you better be on that cross country team by the end of the week. If you're not, you'll never ever play one second for Central. So I had to get out there and run cross country. Great experience. Um, another wonderful experience was when um, my senior year, and I've been a scorer my whole life, and told me that he wanted me to focus on being a distributor. And I said, Coach Bush, why are you asking me my senior year to sacrifice my scoring and scholarship opportunities to pass the ball? And he said, because you are a leader. And leaders make sacrifices for the team. And that's something that has been my MO uh, my whole life uh, about making sacrifices for people that you care about. And it has uh, transcended uh, to friends and more importantly to my children uh, that commitment is extremely important. Uh, I, I've coached and I have young men come back years later and say, uh, Coach Bush, I am so glad that you taught me about integrity, honor, and commitment. Uh, just on the light side, uh, one game, uh, Coach Bush pulled me out, and I was going to walk to the end of the bench, but he never allowed that. It was like, oh, no, come and sit next to me. And Coach Bush had these large hands, like a, a first baseman mitt, and sit next to him on that bench, and he would uh, squeeze your thigh right above your knee. And uh, after um, some years later, I asked him, I said, Coach Bush, why did you uh, used to do that? And he said, because I know that you couldn't talk. You only could listen. <laughs> and I said, OK. yeah." That, and then uh, another game, uh, he pulls me out. And he says, uh, Busher. Never called me Bush. He was always Busher. Uh, why are you? passing the ball to this particular player. And I said, Coach, because he's open. He paused and he said, the reason he's open is because you're the only one in this damn gym that doesn't know he can't shoot. And so he had a, a very convincing way of getting your attention to make you think. And uh, you know, I stayed in touch with Coach Bush uh, over the years. I talked to him a couple of times a month. Uh, I can't tell you how many times people had a, have approached me and asked me, how is your father doing? 
since my last name is Bush spelled the same way. Uh, and I tell them, no, he's not my father. And I've had many folks argue with me, saying that I was lying, that Coach Bush is my father, so I have to call Coach Bush up. And Coach Bush would tell him, no, he's not my son. Uh, the other thing that I learned from Coach Bush was being neat and clean. You know, because Coach Bush was very stylish. And so uh, I would go to him uh, cause I, before a uh, game and stuff. I'd say, Coach Bush, I uh, need some money to get a haircut. And one day he finally he said, why do you get your hair cut so much? I said, uh, Coach, I want to be like you. If I don't play well, I want to look good. And that's all I had to say because he loved for you to be clean. You know, back then, we didn't wear tennis shoes. Uh, we didn't wear jeans. Uh, our hair was neat. Our teeth were brushed. We were smelling good. Uh, don't think that after a game or practice, you're going to put your clothes on and leave. Man, you better get your butt in the shower. <laughs> and that's how he was. And if you needed something, he was always there. Uh, you could have been the 15th man or the best player in the city, and he treated everyone the same, everyone. Uh, you're late. You're not starting tonight. Uh, the Duran Award, Michael Coleman and I, we arrived at the game late, and we're getting ready to uh, put our uniforms on and said, no, man, y'all can, can suit up in the second half. And I said, what? <laughs> second half? But I tell you, man, the only time we really had a disagreement was when uh, I was a sophomore and uh, playing JV and varsity, but we scrimmaging, and I'm tearing the guards up every, every scrimmage because I ha had the freedom to shoot more on JV. And so uh, finally one day I said, Coach Bush, why am I playing behind these guys? And he paused, put his, crossed his arms, and he said, because I'm the coach and you're not. And if you want to continue playing, then you're going to do exactly what I tell you to do. And if you don't, you can turn the uniform in. And I said, what? And another teammate did the same thing. And he was a little more forceful. And he didn't tell him that you, uh, that you can or you can't. He just said, uh, that's my uniform. You won't be wearing it again. And that was Coach Bush. Donnell Fletcher, uh, class of 1995, played for Coach Bush here in this building. We was one of the first classes to go through this building uh, for four full years. Uh, one of my greatest memories of Coach Bush is, you know, the first time I met him. You know, growing up in Kansas City, uh, knowing Kansas City basketball, being who my father was. My father played basketball in, in the IAL Purcell. And, you know, knowing all these great players that came through the inner city and having that mystique about the field house and wanting to be playing in the field house and watching Coach Bush teams and watching them compete. So the very first time I actually met Coach Bush, uh, my mom had actually, actually introduced me to him. I was at Pembroke playing ball there, and my mom had he was he had taught my mom at Central. She was a Central graduate, um, and after our game we played against him. She introduced me to him, you know, and remembering, you know, knowing who he is and knowing. At this point in time, he was already a legend in my eyes and in many eyes of Kansas City. Um, and just seeing him and seeing him be bigger than life and these huge hands and, and just him coming up and talking to me and greeting me after a game that I thought I played pretty good in too. And then, you know, after the game, you know, he introduced me. He's like, hey, how you doing? He's like, why are you not over here playing for me? You know, and, you know, it kind of sparked the idea of actually transferring to coming to Central. And the next year I was here at Central. And, we were able to go to go to state, go to the state final four my junior and senior year being here and it's just being a, a blessing with that. And some of the other things is just like the brotherhood that we have here at Central that was created by, you know, what he what he started, like how the program was and how even these guys that uh, the Michael Walkers, the Drill Bushes, the Steve Dunsons, the uh Kevin Sansbury's, the Sterling Brigettes, all these guys will come back and, and love on us, the Damon Weavers. And just bring on that family, that family atmosphere that it was here at Central and that mystique we're growing around Central. Um, one of the other things is, you know, at this point in time, I'm teaching, I'm coaching, but and I come from a family of educators. And 
Coach Bush was one of the first people to talk to me about being a teacher. You know, we was here my senior year talking about college. He's like, what you going to study? I'm like, Coach, I don't know. He's like, you should be a teacher. I'm like, Coach, I don't want to be no teacher. He's like, you know, I got to deal with kids. He's like, what other profession do you got where you can come in, you can impact lives, you can be off for two weeks during the Christmas, you can be off, <laughs> you can be off for a spring break, you can be off for three months during the summer. You know, what other job you can do to that? And I'm, I'm still like, nah, you know, and I'm kind of running from it. Like I said, I come from a family of educators, and then he put that on my mind, and I'm running from it. And then years later, now I'm teaching, now I'm coaching, you know, I'm impacting lives. And, you know, it's a testament to what he kind of put on my head and put on my heart. And just being the man that he was and how he cared for us. And, like, I try to do that with my students and my and my uh, players at this point in time. And, you know, just appreciating the gifts that he gave me. Sterling Burgett, class of 1982. Just want to talk about uh, who I think is one of the greatest coaches to coach in our state. Uh, he was just before his time. Uh, it was just a great time to play and for Coach Bush, truly an honor. Never knew the magnitude of the impact that he would have on me as a, as a young man. I now coach my own program and uh, uh, I've taken all the values that uh, I learned here at Central High School under Coach Bush. Um, things like uh, how to prepare and uh, how we dress, how we carry ourselves, uh, winning with dignity. Um, the greatest thing that I uh, will take was uh, uh, we won a right to go to state and we beat one of our rivals that uh, basically dominated us throughout that year. And coach uh, uh, really, really worked us hard uh, to prepare us for, for that tournament. Uh, to go to state, and uh, we were able to conquer a team that dominated us uh, over those two years. And uh, won the right to go to state my junior season. Uh, my senior year, we come back, and uh, we were very, very good. Um, and we started out slow, and uh, I was struggling uh, as a player at that time. I was able to go into coach's office and uh, asked him for a meeting and his door was always open to us players and and uh, it, it was real big mentorship that he gave me as far as uh, an, a, another opportunity maybe like a second chance and uh, um, at the end of the year it was very gratifying uh, for him to tell uh, the audience on award day about uh, uh, our little talk that we had and and uh, I finished out the year as we finished fourth in the state, but as a as a youth, I uh, I was able to watch the program from a sixth, seventh, and eighth grader, and saw the success of the program, and just wanted to be a part of it, because uh, he he just did so much as far as uh, uh, working with young men, helping guys become better, and uh, once I be, got in the program, I ended up learning uh, a lot about the preparation of the things I saw when I was a little boy and uh, uh, just cherish the moment. Uh, he'll sorely be missed. Um, it, it's, it's been real fresh, refreshing the last couple of days to see uh, uh, former players that you competed against uh, reaching out, sending some praise to uh, the coach that we all got to play for and, and them uh, get to play against. So um, it, it's a sad day, but um, as we, uh, as as we move forward, you know, he'll always be in our thoughts and minds. And uh, thanks so much for this opportunity. This program is brought to you by the City of Fountains Coaches Association.